Hello everyone, Frozen Cause here, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Insurgents. In the last episode, we made it through the Helios sewers and went inside the uh, Black Market, and we made our way to the other side of J Tower. In this episode, we're gonna go upstairs and see if we can rescue the Augur. Uh, but before we begin, I just want to show you guys something. Uh, uh, off screen, I was exploring the black market a little bit more and the sewers a little bit more and I ended up finding out that that woman that we talked to in the last episode that like gives you a special powder or whatever, turns out that powder e basically evolves any trade evolution. So Turnsnacker went from Graveler to a nice and powerful, well I don't know about powerful, but a nice <laughs> Golem. So if I can find a, uh, an Electrorizer or a Magmarizer, I'll be able to turn Thunderbolt and Magmar if I ever choose to and turn them into their trade evolutions, which I think is pretty dope because I was worried the whole time like Huh, does this mean I'm gonna have to sit there and like ask somebody online to trade with but it turns out that's not the case So I'm kind of happy uh, Yeah, hey get out of here. The sky cold is taking over. Oh, yeah, so We have to fight our way through these sky cultists Hopefully they won't be too powerful but so far, oh, level 44, oh, we got this. Oh, we got this. Uh, I'm just gonna Psychic you. Try attack. Well, it's a good thing Dodrio isn't especially offensive. Oh, wow. Oh, that's my boy. That's Mystic in for you, just, ah, uh, just destroying everybody's face. Who's next? Togekiss. Oh man. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go into Thunderbolt for that one. Unless Thunderbolt isn't. Yeah. No. Thunderbolt. Got to train everybody up to level 50. Okay. Uh. No, I'm not gonna do. I'm just gonna do discharge. Extreme speed, and it missed. Wow, I never thought extreme speed could miss. What's its accuracy? Isn't it like 80, 80% 80 accuracy? I don't know. Ooh, nice and paralyzed. Okay, time for charge beam. Hopefully I can get that special attack boost on top of it. Oh yeah, okay. Get out of here. 4,000 experience, good lord. <laughs> Thunderbolt! Oh. Oh, that's awesome. Sorry. Sorry, Charge Beam. You served me well, but now I got Thunderbolt. Now nothing matters. You may be thinking, why did I keep Discharge? It has a chance to paralyze. Instead of, you know, having to worry about getting... Whoa, that's that Shell Gun that I just read? I just read that. I just read that he has a shell gone. Oh man. Okay. Well, they're more than just flying types. Uh. Nah, Mystic will handle this. Yeah. So you. Yeah, because uh, discharge has a chance to paralyze and also its attacking move. I'd rather not rely on static because that means I would have to require physical contact. So uh, yeah, that's pro That's why I went for charge beam. But uh, yeah, this is going to be like a, a new week of recording and stuff, so what that means essentially is that I changed up the schedule for uh, for December. This is going to be like only one upload a week instead of like twice, but I'll be having two new series coming out uh, later, starting off uh, with Yu-Gi-Oh! Tag Force 4 for the PSP and, uh, and uh, Shantae Risky's Revenge on uh, Saturday. Did I say when Tag Force comes out on this week? Oh, it comes on Wednesdays and uh, Fridays. So, uh, yeah. yeah. I'm doing something a little bit different because the whole time I've been not bored with this series, just I feel like I was like uh, kind of just only pressured to just do one series and I was just like, eh, I didn't really want to do that. So, uh, yeah, I'm adding two new series. Hopefully I can keep up the momentum with them. Oh, okay. I thought they would give me some background information as to why they're here. Trying to meet the Augur, hmm? I won't give you that chance. Oh boy. 
Now, I don't really have to battle them, but I really need that sweet, sweet experience. <laughs> so, and the money. Wow, buddy. Really? Butterfree? Out of all the flying types, out of all the flying types that you are supposed to be, like, representing as part of the Sky Cult, you choose Butterfree? Oh, what the fuck? Uh, well, I take it back. Yeah, never mind. I don't take that back. Screw you. I'm trying to lower my special attack like that. By two, no less. Oh, okay. Okay, Knocked Owl. That, that's a little better, I guess. But come on, a Butterfree? A Butterfree? Out of all the flying types, you had to choose Butterfree? I know you're a grunt, but come on. But come on, man. Uh... I wonder, does Ponyta get Flare Blitz? I feel like it does. But maybe I'm thinking of, like, 4th Gen. I could have sworn it got that move. I don't know. I could be totally wrong, but I could have sworn. Wow, really? Ow. God damn it. Okay, I'm just gonna use Turn Snacko, our newly evolved Golem. So if that's the case, that means I could evolve Rock and Roller too. Oh man. I might. I might replace Turn Snacko with Rock and Roller, but that depends on. Cause, uh. Because, uh, I think Rock and Roller gets, uh, powered. No, not Power Jam. What's it? Stone Edge? And, uh, what's that other move? Oh, wow, I flinched. Come on. And I also believe, uh, Rock Slide. So, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty powerful. Man, okay. That knocked out was a little, a little hard. Crobat. Okay, Crobat, another smackdown for you. Oh, you're not stuck. I'm not stuck here with you. You're stuck here with me, Mr. Crobat. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Crobat. Oh, man. You don't know what you just brought upon yourself, buddy. You can't touch me. Even if you have a poison type attack, I'm ground too. <laughs> oh, man. I better stop talking. I better stop talking shit. Because I, I, I guarantee you, next. If I reach those sky cults or whatever, I'm probably gonna get like destroyed by some mega Rayquaza or some shit. And I'd be like, well. <laughs> well, that guy was salty. Uh. Yeah, I'll just use another super potion on Shadowfax. Uh, and turn Snacko, because he has sturdy, so. Uh. Man, I'm low on potions. I did not realize how low I was on potions. Uh, one more. Come on. There we go. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I need that sturdy. Uh, all right, you. What do you What do you have to offer? I, you have five seconds to clear out of here before I get angry, kid. Oh man, they're all angry. I wonder. Wonder what happened. All right, Sky Cultist. What do you have? Deli Bird! What, what, what is this, amateur hour? Come on! Once again, I know you guys are grunts, but come on, man. A Deli Bird? Oh. Ow. Alright, Flame Wheel. Okay. Now, I'm missing his level 50. Not bad, not bad. Haunch Crow, ooh. Now that's what I'm talking about. Some nice, powerful bird Pokemon. Or flying type Pokemon. Uh, I think I'll use Thunderbolt for this one. I wonder if I can find a Murkrow. I'll totally put that in the party. Oh man. Get out of here. Now this should knock it out, but, you know. Oh, I was about to say, like, that one HP, <laughs> it hung on. Oh, okay. Man, I love Honchkrow. Honchkrow's one of, like, my favorite flying-type Pokemon. Oh, mostly because of its cry, but its move pool is pretty darn OP. Like, good lord. It gets, like, what, Night Slash, Dark Pulse, 
Uh, if you breed it, I think it gets Brave Bird. I think Psycho Cut, but I could be wrong. But yeah, it's like, oh man, it's deadly. You do not want to mess with a well-rounded Launch Crow. Uh, I guess Smackdown. Yeah. That way I can finish it off with Earthquake. If this doesn't finish it off. Wow, one HP. That one HP. Jeez, Louise. I mean, I know SmackDown isn't very powerful, but hot dang. Hot dang. Oh, really? Another psychic. Ah, no, 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 no. Oh. Oh, I turned Snacko. You, you hung on. Dude, I know your special defense is booty, but dang. Four. Oh, he's counting down. Ew. Gross. All right, pal. All right, Turn Snacko. Turn Snacko has been just doing the work. Here we go. Now, did I buy? Now, I wonder, did I buy any Moo Moo milk? No, doesn't look like it. Oh no, I bought one. <laughs> when I was in the black market, but that's not gonna be enough. Oh yeah, first off, let me take off this lucky egg and give it to Shadowfax. That way he can get some boosted experience. Switch. All right. Okay. Let's keep. Let's look around. Uh, no, no items. I thought there would be an item around here somewhere. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Let's go up top. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Whoops. Ooh. Oh, what does that mean? Uh, can I heal my Pokemon through this? Oh, yes, I can. All right. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I don't care. This might sound like cheating or whatever, but I want to be as prepared as possible. Uh, I don't think anyone else needs healing that badly, so... Yeah, okay. All right. Whoops. I don't know what this, I don't know why this PC is here, but I'm a little nervous. All right, turn Snacko, let's do this. Oh, is that Damien? All right, Arya, are you ready? We need to warn the Augur that the Sky Cult is on their way up. Otherwise, they might blackmail him into summoning Rayquaza. Let's do this. Uh-oh. Yes, sir. Everything is ready upstairs. We can... Well, well, well. Isn't this a sight for sore eyes? Is that Damien and Arya from Telnor Town? Oh, are you kidding me? No. That's bullshit. No, you can't be serious. It's good to see you two again. But... I must ask, why are you here? Was it to challenge our gym? If it was, you're in luck! East here is our very own sky-themed gym leader. He excels in both dragon and flying types. Oh. N no, sir, we're here because... Because... We overheard members of the Sky Cult talking. They want to summon Rayquaza and they plan to blackmail you into helping them. Uh-oh. That is a serious problem. You're positive about this? Are you sure you heard what they said correctly? If so, then this certainly is a problem. 
of all times to come. Of course they'd pick now. I hope this wouldn't have to happen, but what's done is done. Come on out, gentlemen. Oh, you kidding me? Traitor! Oh, wow! He's the leader of the Sky Cult? Uh-huh, what's going on? I'm sorry about this, Damien. I truly am. You were so youthful and bright. It can't be helped, though. You heard what my cultist said, and I can't let you leave with a chance you might connect the dots. Y your cultist? What do you mean? Oh, man. I am the leader of the Sky Cult. Wow! I knew there was something off about this guy. Surprised? You shouldn't be. When you think about it, it's pretty obvious. I created the Sky Cult several years ago, just before the Augur disappeared. We were a small group at first, a ragtag band who were united by the desire for one thing, change. You see, the Augur was the perfect hero of the people. Along with his partner Hoopa, he defeated the cult after cult, trying to bring good values to the people of Torn, such as peace, love, and mercy. Being merciful, he forgave anyone who begged, to, who begged him to, letting criminals go unpunished. Oh. As a result, the members of the disbanded cults joined other ones, making it a completeless, completely pointless act. Man, I didn't see that coming. The Augur was strong, but he was a coward. He wasn't able to do what was necessary to keep the region safe. So I dealt with him and crowned myself as his successor. Oh, he killed him. With a new Augur, we could cure the disease plague and torn for good. We could save the region forever. You'll never get away with this, you monster. Oh, but Damien, I already have. With a bit of propaganda, I've already got all of Torn on my side. That's why I can't let you two blab about my true identity. Realistically, nobody would believe you, but it's a risk I can't take. Uh, oh, man, that's some serious juju. I want to capture a quasi. With its incredible strength and control over the sky, I can be omnip omnipresent, omniscient, and um. Omnipotent? Yeah, omnipotent, that's the word. <laughs> I could create a utopia free of war and crime. I refuse to be the coward that the first Augur was. And any criminal, any threat to a perfect world needs to be removed. Bruh. I founded the Sky Cult to help me reach this goal. And now we've accumulated all we need to summon Rayquaza. The sacrifice can begin. Rayquaza will be summoned, and he will be mine. This soon-to-be peaceful region will thrive under my command. Wow, buddy, that sounds like a dictatorship. <laughs> East, get one of the cultists. It's time to start. Sir, I know we plan to sacrifice one of them, but since these kids are here and are going to live their lives in prison anyways, why not sacrifice one of them? We wouldn't need to waste any cultists. You piece of shit! That's not a terrible idea, East. After what Ari has done to me, I'll enjoy every second of it. Well, what, what, what has Arya done to you? I don't know. Oh, she won't remember. She's forgotten nearly everything. Okay, but, but she tried to save your life. We came today to warn you about to warn you about the Sky Cult. Fair point. It would be hypocritical to sacrifice you after talking about a utopia, wouldn't it? Arya, in the spirit of fairness, I will give you a fighting chance. You'll battle with East, and the loser gets used for the ritual. But, but sir, why are you risking me? Why not use one of your grunts? Oh, because East, you're a gym leader. I'm sure you'll win. Arya doesn't stand a chance. But, East, are you questioning me? Uh, no, sir. Oh. Sorry about this, Arya. It's nothing personal, but the Augur's orders were given. Oh, we're gonna have to fight him. Alright, well, bring it on. Look at him. Look at all dapper and shit. Skarmory. That's interesting. Uh, well, you know what the first thing I'm gonna do? I'm gonna set up Stealth Rock, since he has a whole bunch of grass-type Pokemon. I mean, flying-type Pokemon. Oh, toxic. Pfft, it missed! Okay, that was lucky. Now we got our stealth rocks up. I'm gonna smack you down. Aw, oh, nah, that didn't work. Okay, alright. I kinda wanna use Shadow Facts, but this thing is physically bulky, so... 
I'm going to need all the help I can get with that, so Terran Snacko is definitely going to be instrumental, because I think Earthquake could work. Oh, he made his own rocks. Shoot. That's fine. Now that he's on the ground and not a flying type, this Earthquake should knock him out, and he doesn't have Sturdy either, so there we go. Why am I being so analytical about this? It's, but it's a boss fight, so I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, gotta put all the chips on the table, because, you know, my life's on the line. Double edge? Uh, yeah, no. I don't need double edge. Nah, I don't, I don't want double edge. Okay, so what's next? Kingdra. Oh, so that's a dragon type. Um, hmm. Oh, yeah, Mystic can handle that. I think Mystic can handle a Kingdra. Come on, it's a Kingdra. It's not that powerful, but... As long as I'm not going to get Dragon Pulsed, right? As long as that matters, you know? Alright. So he has a Kingdra. Level 47. It's pretty powerful. Man, I wish I had Moonblast. That's the one thing I'm missing on this... On Mystic and Moonblast. Moonblast is way more powerful. Okay, that didn't do a lot. But Disarming Voice can only do so much. Yeah. Now, miss that Hydro Pump. Nope. Hit it again. Shit. Uh... Oh, wow. Okay. Mystic is hanging on. Okay. Okay. We're, 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 we're still good. We're still in this. I mean, I have, a, I have about four revives, so... We're, we're not too strapped with our backs against the wall. Noivern. Okay. I'm gonna switch back into... Uh... Yeah, I gotta switch back into Turn Snacko. But, the Stealth Rocks will help. The Stealth Rocks are a big help so far. The Stealth Rocks are a big help so far. It's really weakening his Pokemon, so... Yeah, look at that damage. Imagine if he had, like, a... What you wanna call it? Like, a Charizard? Charizard would be, like, half dead by now. Alright, Smackdown. Focus Blast! Hot damn! Okay. Oh, come on, Turn Snacko. You can, you can hold. Uh, hang on. Damn. Oh, well. Okay. Okay, well, that's fine. Turn Snacko fulfilled his purpose, and that was to, uh, to use uh, Stealth Rock. So, I'm not too upset about losing Turn Snacko like that. Uh, okay. Now, I don't know how fast Noivern is, but I am two levels above it, so hopefully I can just Dragon Claw it. Uh... Oh, he has Dragon Pulse. Piece of... God dang, I figured he would. Come on, Gandora. Ah, shit. God damn it. Okay, okay, well... God damn. But what's the fact that my Pokemon are so god dang slow? Um, now I can see why one of the gym leaders mentioned I should have an Ice type attack. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to use that Hyper Potion. Uh, oh, I have a Max Revive. I don't want to use that yet. <laughs> I don't want to use that yet. Um, Hyper Potion. Okay. All right, Mr. All right, Mr. Again. Air Slash. I, I figured it would have something like that. That doesn't do a lot, but it's mainly focused on flinching. Hopefully, I don't flinch. Oh, come on, really? Ah, uh, come on. Okay. Alright, missed again. Really? It didn't kill? Okay, gonna have to hyper potion it up again. Okay. 
Ooh, man, this is, uh, this is tough. Even though I'm, like, above him a few. Oh, really? You suck. <laughs> you suck. Man, okay, pal. Uh, hopefully I don't flinch again. Disarming voice. Wow. Okay, that does over half. Why didn't I do that the last time? Was that just a low roll the last time? I don't know. I don't... All right. Okay, we defeated it. Okay, that was a little dicey. I was a little, I was a little on edge about that one. Talonflame. Oh man, I have the perfect Pokemon that can sit there and brick this thing. Freaking turn Snacko. And it's a fire and flying type, so that thing's gonna get wrecked by uh, Thunderbolt here, because I'm probably faster, unless it has Gale Wings, but I don't think it does. I don't know. Woo wee. Look at that, look at that HP, like half, half, literally half, because it's quadruple times four to, uh, oh, but it gets Roost, well then, okay, oh, so we must have Gale Wings, because that came first, and I think Thunderbolt would be faster, wait, that should be super effective, really, stop roosting, you ugly bird, you damn broken bird, why is that normally effective? Shouldn't it be super effective since it's a flying type? Oh. Ah, it has Gliscor. Interesting. Okay. Now I can see why they said, oh, you should get an Ice type. Because <laughs> Ice type pretty much can defeat his whole team. Alright, well. I don't have anything for this. Uh. Shoot. I might have to sack off a Pokemon. You know what, I think Donnie can handle it. Because it's going to try and do Earthquake, so... Donnie is pretty bulky. Yep, I knew it. I knew it was going to do Earthquake. Ouch, it does so much! Uh... Oh! That's right, I have his Mega Stone. Uh... I'm going to use that Mega Stone and... Aurora Spirit? Alright, Mega Blastoise, let's see. Whoa, that looks cool. Holy crap, that looks awesome. Ew. Oh, it's using that set. Ugh, okay. Like a real stally set. All right, well, it's not very effective, yeah. Uh, how about knockoff? Oh, hopefully this doesn't kill. Yeah, okay, I figured. Uh, oh, it's not holding anything. Okay, well, that's good to know. I thought it was holding something. Man, I'm down to my last Hyper Potion. I just couldn't buy any. I was really st strapped for cash, but I didn't have I didn't have a lot of money. Otherwise, I probably would have bought more. Another goddamn substitute. Stop with the substitutes. And it's gonna do Earthquake. I'm gonna knock it off. And one more knockoff. One more knockoff should kill. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Okay, that Gliscor is a little difficult, but we're fine, we're fine. We're still in this. And then he has Talonflame. I wonder what's his ace? I, I honestly wonder what his ace is. Okay. Ah, that... Oh, it died to the stealth rocks! Lol. Well, there you go. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, East. But you're gonna have to be sacrificed, not me. Altaria. Ooh. Okay, Altaria. That's interesting. It's probably a Mega, isn't it? So, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna light screen. Mega Kane. He has a Mega Cane. Whoa, look how fluffy it is! But I'm not... I... Fire Blast! Jeez Louise! Okay, pal. It's not that... I know you don't want to die, but... Hot damn, Fire Blast. Okay, that's, uh, that's interesting. 
You know what I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna revive current Snacko. So that way, I can bring him in. So I can bring him in and uh, do uh, Smackdown or whatever. Cotton Guard. Oh, never mind. I'm just gonna attack it specially then. Screw you. I'm just gonna do Thunderbolt. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. But not as much because I have light screen up. Eat this, you swift bitch. How are you hitting Fire Blast like that? That is not right. Uh. No, I don't want I don't want Thunderbolt to die because I think we're on turn three of the light screen. So I think I'm. So I'm just gonna heal again. I have this fresh water. Oh no, wait, do I have Moo Moo Milk? I have one Moo Moo Milk, but I think I'll give that to Mystigan. Because Mystigan can handle whatever this thing throws at me. So that's turn four. Oh no, okay, light screen faded. Okay. Time to put that bad boy back up and switch into Mystigan. Oh, Hyper Voice. Oh, ouch. Oh, that was a crit. Okay, well, Thunderbolt, your death was not in vain. You fainting was not in vain, because I managed to put up that second screen up. All right, Miss again, let's finish this. Now, I should be faster than this. If I'm not faster than this, then what the hell have I, I, have I been doing? All right. No, I'm not faster. How am I not faster? Well, at least the Fire Blast didn't do crap because of the light screen, but god dang! Jeez Louise! Okay, what the hell? <laughs> Oh man, that was scary as hell. Man, that was touch and go for a second. Whoa. Ah, oh, please. Yeah, sorry, pal. But I'm not on the chopping block. I, I lost. I, I don't believe it. I'm disappointed, East. I'd love to change my mind and save you, but I can't. I made a promise, and a strong ruler keeps his promises. I'm sorry, and farewell. Oh, what the hell? In my, in my mind's eye, I see a region filled with love. It's a far off, almost unachievable dream. Death on the way to that goal is a triviality. Tri triviality? Triviality? I don't know. Each sacrifice was not in vain, especially now that I can use him to summon Rayquaza. Oh boy, he has Rayquaza. You can follow me to the roof if you want. Try and stop me, I dare you. But be warned, I'm not going to spare you twice. Oh my gosh. So, uh, am I supposed to, like, I don't know, heal? I don't know. I'll use that PC. The Augur, he lied? Everything I was taught, everything I grew up believing. How the Augur fought against the cults and was the hero of the nation? That was a lie? I don't know how to feel about this. Yeah, I know. Uh, what else did that say? <laughs> I never liked the guy. Wow. Did that surprise you? This. Oh, yeah, that was a surprise. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna end the episode off here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, comment, maybe subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time.